Increasingly, architects and designers are choosing to work on the iPad in favor of pen and pencils to design faster and easier due to iPad's portability and abundance of time-saving apps. For a long time, I've used the trace paper to test out my ideas in plan, sections, and elevations. While this seems to work for most architects, there are a couple of things I find constantly annoying, like using the scale, dealing with curly trace paper, taping down my drafting dots, scanning my sketches afterwards, and putting it together in Photoshop. Not to mention the constant waste of design mistakes. Just curious though, am I the only person who thinks using the scale is really annoying? I constantly forget which side I was using before. It just feels like such an outdated tool for modern architects. Let me know what you think in the comments below if you think there is still a need for this. In this video, I want to show you three ways to draw in scale on the iPad with higher accuracy, less hassle, and potentially many hours saved. My name is Henry Gao. On my YouTube channel, I talk about the importance of hand drawing by leveraging modern digital tools mixed with my experience as an architecture designer in San Francisco, California. For this tutorial, I will be demonstrating using an app called Procreate. In this first quick and dirty method, I will be using Procreate's internal grid feature, which you can turn on in the setting under canvas. Once it's on, you can adjust the size of the grid to make it bigger or smaller. I will be using this to calibrate an existing drawing. So let's say you're working with an existing floor plan that you'd like to sketch over. If you know a dimension in this plan, then you can assign each square of the grid to a certain dimension, let's say one foot for a demonstration. Then you can adjust the size of the grid until you have an exact number of squares to match that known dimension. Then essentially, you can use this grid which acts as a glorified scale to calibrate the drawing. Just remember that each square is one foot long or however you set it at. You just have to be a little careful when counting the squares because if you miss one or over count one, you are one unit off. Well, this is quick and dirty, but when you export it as a PDF, the challenge is that this PDF is not plotted to any of the architectural scales like quarter inch or eighth of an inch, so it's not particularly useful if you want to use a physical scale to measure it after it's printed. The second method is to use a different app like Morfolio Trace where you can actually calibrate the scale of the drawing with their calibration feature that you can use the built-in scale ruler to draw. When you're ready to export, that's where you can pick your paper size and the desired scale output. Morfolio Trace is an app designed specifically for architects and interior designers, so I feel like they have this aspect of the design tool pretty much nailed in. However, this is a subscription-based app. I think it costs about $20 a year, and it doesn't have as nearly as many brush customization and creative controls compared to Procreate, which only costs $10 for a lifetime license. Personally, I value the artistic control found in Procreate. I use it more often to create illustrative type of drawings. I know it kind of sucks that Procreate doesn't have a more sophisticated feature for architects, but I came up with a solution to make drawing in scale much easier using the app. My solution to this was to create a set of scale templates based on real US paper size. I have one made for 8.5 by 11, 11 by 17, and 24 by 36. So anytime when I'm starting a new drawing, I can pick any of these templates in Procreate, then choose the right scale factor in my layers, and overlay a drawing with the same scale to begin sketching on. For example, here I have existing floor plan that I like to use as a background to trace over. This PDF is 24 inch by 36 inch at a scale of quarter inch to one foot, which is the standard scale for a floor plan in the US. Unfortunately, Procreate doesn't read PDF as a file format, so I have to convert it into a JPEG in Photoshop first. So right-click on the PDF, find the page that you'd like to convert, and there are two critical settings to get right. Make sure you're cropping to the media box and set the resolution to 150, otherwise this template will not work. After you've opened this up in Photoshop, save it as a JPEG. To bring it into the iPad, you could either airdrop it to yourself if you're using a Mac, or save it to a cloud platform and download it from there. In this case, I'm going to use the 24 by 36 inch template to match the size of the PDF that I just exported as a JPEG. Once I'm in, loading the JPEG, which should drop in the exact size as your appropriate canvas size, not any bigger or smaller because this is how I designed the template to be. Next, 
pick the same scale factor as the PDF in your layers and you can now begin drawing the scale. I'm going to use the quarter inch scale layer and you can delete the rest. I find using this system incredibly fast and efficient with general space planning and furniture layout for residential homes. You can get up to as close as 6 inch which is half a square and I think this is close enough for a sketch. If I need further precision that's when I bring it into AutoCAD. I realize there's a limitation to this method, say if you're working on a multi-million square foot project, counting all the little squares can become tedious. So if that's the case, maybe consider just using Morfolio Trace with a more sophisticated scale function. If you want to create your own template, this is actually fairly easy to do in a couple of hours. What I did was to create a grid in AutoCAD of a certain distance apart, print it on different paper size at different scales, then bring it into Photoshop to make it into a template, then convert this template into a Procreate format file so you can reuse it over time. But if you're short on time, you can download my templates using the links below. One of the advantage of drawing in Procreate is you can be creative with layer visibility. For example, if I want to overlay two floor plans on top of each other so I can see how they stack up, I can adjust the layer opacity until it looks legible. Then I can export this PDF to share with clients or colleagues. If you want to print this out physically, it will be printed to a standard scale so you can actually use the physical scale to measure. This may seem a little complicated at first, but after you do it once or twice, you'll get a hang of this workflow and could save you a lot of time not fiddling with the physical scale, having multiple trays to scan, and compositing in Photoshop. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. In the meantime, I think you should check out this video on 5 strategies to improve your architectural floor plans.